The new weekend is coming up, so it's time for a new episode of Trigger Weekend Masterclass. And in this masterclass, I am going to show you how you connect your Trigger application to Microsoft Teams. So what are we going to create? Um, we have an application that can create quotations. And as soon as a quotation has been created, we would like to send uh, a chat message to uh, one of our colleagues via Teams. And all we need to do for that is to set up Zapier in combination with Trigger. So in this case, um, we don't need the designer. So the only thing that we need actually is um, Zapier because um, we already have the application that creates the uh, quotations. And what do we need to do? Well, we need to uh, create a, a Zap which has a trigger trigger, so to speak, based on data changes. Um, in this case, we also have a filter because we only want to send our colleague a message that a new quotation is available when there's an actual quotation available. So um, the document has to be created. If somebody would abort the process halfway, we don't want that colleague to receive that uh, message, of course. Um, so that's why we have a filter. And in the end, we set, send a chat message in Microsoft Teams. So if I would extend um, the Zap in Zapier to show you how it's set up. So we have the app trigger. It's based on a data change. I've linked it to my application. And as soon as quotation has been updated, um, the Zap will be triggered. Well, it only continues if the property document exists. If it doesn't exist, it will stop. Um, and that's because, like I explained, we only want our colleague to receive a message when the quotation has been finalized. And when it's finalized, it has a document. And the final step in this Zap is send a chat message to uh, Microsoft Teams. Um, so of course, we need to app Microsoft Teams and the event send a chat message. I link it to my own account. And then in this case, I send a chat message to, um, I select one of the chats that I have. And in this case, it's between me and my colleague, Jesse. Um, and I send him a message, which is, hello, Jesse, this is for the Trigger Weekend Masterclass. A new quotation has been made. So how does this, um, let, so let me show you how this works when I turn this zap on. And that means that in our application, when I create a new quotation and I finalized it, I will automatically send a message to Jesse that there's a new quotation. So let's create a new quotation. Okay, got a special offer. I'm going to add a laptop to it. Two of them at the product. Okay. And I'm going to finalize this quotation. And this is the moment where the zap will be triggered as soon as this document has been created and linked. Um, and after that, it will automatically send a message to Jesse. And there you go. There it is. Created. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.